say hi. Order so I pause the music so I can vlog. Grayson, how are you? It's Valentine's Day, and I get to give everyone cards in the bag. Yes, so today is Valentine's Day. Grayson is wearing his red. Yes, so Grayson has his Valentine's Day party at preschool today. He's got his Valentine's all filled out and ready to give to his friends. He needed nine Valentine's, so that was pretty easy to do. And then he's gonna have ice cream sundaes at preschool today. I'm super jealous of that. That sounds so yummy. We went to the store a couple weeks ago because if you go right before Valentine's Day, then all the Valentine's stuff is sold out. So we had to go early. So we got, I had Gray pick it out. Um, it was between Spider-Man and PJ Masks, but he picked PJ Masks. So I have them right here. They're in this little Ziploc bag and they're big stickers and they have like the three main superhero characters and have cute little sayings on them. And then he just wrote his name on the back and then they don't write two. They just, that way it's easier to just put it in each kid's bag. And I guess they already made bags at preschool. I didn't have to make that at home, which was really nice because I am not creative. Also with Grace Preschool, this is U week. Every week it's a different letter. And then Mondays and Tuesdays, they have to bring in show and tell of objects that start with that letter. So yesterday we brought in the state of Utah. We had it from like his United States puzzle. And now we're gonna bring my ugly shirt. Yeah, so his teacher requested that today on Tuesday, the second show and tell day, he had to bring in something ugly, which is very hard. You was already hard. I was already struggling what his second you share was going to be. And then she said it had to be ugly. So I literally just went online and printed off a picture of a sweater and had gray decorate it and we made it an ugly sweater so not really like a christmas ugly sweater it's just like a regular ugly sweater so i just found what we had around we colored it a little um i cut out some shapes uh, we put a ton of stickers on it and then we had some googly eyes i don't remember why we had that i think anthony brought it one day from his work or something so we just put on a bunch of googly eyes to just try to make it look as mismatched and ugly as we could so that is what we did porter and i are gonna go to the library while grayson is at preschool and we're gonna do story time and all that good stuff so that'll be fun anthony and i exchanged valentine's gifts last night i got anthony a can crusher because um, he and his friends get together in the basement once a week, uh, like two weeks out of the month. And they drink a lot of beer down there. And so Anthony was always saying he wants a can crusher to compact all the cans. So I got that for him. It like, you can mount it on the wall. It's pretty nice. And then Anthony got me, I'm so excited. He got me a Stanley. I've never had one before. He said it was like 60 bucks. These things are so expensive. But I'm so excited because, you know, Stanley's, they can fit in your car cup holders. So I'm super excited that he got that for me. So, yeah, we already did that. And we're just kind of going to be just enjoying the day. And it's supposed to be warm out. So we'll go outside for a little bit um, this afternoon. We need to make muffins. I hope you're all having a great Valentine's Day. I have three Valentines this year. Baby girl can be my Valentine too. So feeling very loved today. So Gray is back from preschool. What did you get, Gray? Val so many Valentines. All these cool Valentines. He got some unicorn, Pokemon. He got a Minecraft sticker and a dog sticker, some candy. Oh, Porter just spilled some bubbles. This is Gray Gray's little valentine bag that he made he said it's clifford it's so cute oh and you got a bouncy ball porter's very jealous he wants all of the cool valentine stuff huh i want some mom. yeah eat your lunch gray just kind of came through and tore through everything so i'm not really sure who everything is from but he definitely got some cool cool cute stuff so that I'm is a lot of fun. No, honey, you only have a sucker if you go poop in the potty. 
Do you need to go pee pee? I'm going to pee pee I'm going to sleep. This is how Grayson makes me put him to bed every night. He makes me tuck all these blankets on him. Mm. He's got like five or six blankets on him. And he makes me tuck him in and then he goes to bed. Did you have a good Valentine's Day? Yes. yes. And then I put this on here. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up and I walked out loud. Oh, okay. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow you have preschool, okay? Love you. And then you call. Bye, Gray. Porter always helps me put Gray Gray to bed, huh? All right, let's go to Porter's room. I need a drink. Every night before I go put him to bed, Porter wants a drink. He wants to do anything. That gets him stalled to go to bed. So he's gonna go get a drink. While I'm sitting here waiting for him, I wanted to update you guys. Yesterday, I actually went and had my 32 week doctor appointment. I didn't vlog at all. It really wasn't that special. I was sitting there in the room waiting for my doctor and I was like, should I vlog? But like, it's the same room every single time you guys have seen it. So I didn't pull out my camera, but I'll tell you how it went. It was super fast, like I thought it would be. I went in, did urine sample, blood pressure, weight. I've gained like another four pounds, which is good, I guess. Um, I've gained about 20 pounds so far, so that's about right. Blood pressure was fine. I definitely have like heart, like my heart beats fast a lot more. I think it's just like all the extra weight in the blood flow and stuff, but it hasn't been showing up on my blood pressure reading, so that's been good. Um, and then my doctor came in, she asked me how I was doing, and I was just telling her that I was done. And she was like, yeah, that's to be expected. She measured me, she said I was measuring right on track, which is like usual. And then she got the Doppler out and found baby's heartbeat right away. She was 145, so that was good, typical of her. And she told me that starting now, I'm going to go every two weeks to the doctor and then starting at 36 weeks they'll start checking my cervix to see if I'm dilating or not so that's exciting like the end is in sight I did mention to her about how like I've gone past 40 weeks with both boys I really don't want to go past 40 again with her I really want her to get out and I'm over it and so she was talking about like the possibility of stripping my membrane starting at 36 weeks so that got me excited I really hope that that's helps <laughs> i have been having brexton hicks here and there which is good so that gave me hope and i felt good about that so finished with her scheduled my next appointment for two weeks which is crazy that it's already getting to the two week and then weekly mark and uh, that was it so really nothing exciting just like i thought it was going to be next appointment is going to be the exact same so it'll be another appointment of just basically what I did <laughs> what I just told you but I wanted to keep you updated and let you know how that went so it went well but I didn't pull out the camera anymore after Greg got home from preschool we did nap time and then I had to do some work and so we really didn't do anything we made muffins but that's nothing new and had dinner and then bath and now I'm putting the boys to bed so I'm gonna shower after I put Porter down and then I think Anthony and I are going to watch a movie. It is Valentine's Day. We unfortunately weren't able to go out like on a date for Valentine's Day. I mean, I guess technically we were at the car dealership like all of Saturday. So I guess you could count that as our Valentine's date, but it wasn't really fun. Um, but that's just how it is when you have kids. Last year we got a Valentine's date. This year we don't. It is what it is. I didn't even cook dinner. I just told Anthony that we're eating leftovers tonight. So really not that special of a day. We're going to watch a movie and maybe I'll find like a romantic comedy or something. Anthony doesn't usually like those, but maybe I can find something that is like kind of romantic, but kind of action-y. I don't know. I guess I'll look and see. But anyway, Porter's bringing me a book. Are you ready to read? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you want to read? The Little Old Lady Who's Not Afraid of Anything. This book is super cute. Very, uh, a lot of repetition. The kids love it. Gray used to call this book Pumpkin Man, which is funny because it's a woman 
Um, but Porter loves this book too. So we're going to read it and then we're going to go to bed, huh? You say bye bye. Bye bye. Say thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Say make sure to subscribe. Yeah, I can fly. And like this video. And like this video. See you next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.